Hey guys, how's it going? Got a Black Ops 2 gameplay on Xbox One backwards compatible. As you can see here, just bring my dashboard thing up. It's finally on the Xbox One. We're here, we made it. After all that time, and the game is absolutely booming at the moment with like 130,000 players right at this time. That's absolutely just so easy to find a game. I would almost go and say that it has more than Infinite Warfare does right at this moment playing. But I'm going to red gun, I'm going to use assault rifles. I know I usually snipe, but I never sniped on this game. Actually, ever. it wasn't until the, the newer CODs that I got into sniping. So, my, my shot's not that good. I had a couple games and I tried to do it, but I, I just couldn't. I just couldn't do it, so... We're going to run some high streaks, run the M27. I did play, as you can see, I got this gun diamond. I played so much assault rifles and um, submachine guns. I got them diamond as well. Also, Prestige 9, level 37. I never quite got the Prestige 10, but... Yeah, we're here, so... Using the M27, like I said, got some very high streaks on. So, we'll see if we can um, get these streaks. I got... Orbital Reset, Warthog, and the Lodestar. Absolute classic streaks, just beast streaks. Especially the Lodestar, that was my absolute favorite streak in like Call of Duty ever. Just how powerful it was and how much of a beast it was. You know, you just get up there and just get all those rockets. I don't know what this guy's doing. Sit down. There's a couple guys down there. I think they're all mostly sitting up along there. That was kind of probably stupid. He's going to run from that grenade. You can reload cancels like so early in this game as well. Oh, that was a nice little quad feed with the M27 there. Very nice. Happy with that. But yeah, like, this is my absolute favorite Call of Duty. Like, this is the one I played the most. This is where my Call of Duty really, like, I really got into it. So, you know, hopefully it still shows that this is the thing I played, you know, every day in and out for so many hours. One off the orbital V set. Hopefully we can, hopefully we can get it. It's going to camp a little bit. I'm going to risk it and go up here. I think there will be a kid up here. So There we go. Getting the VSAT boys on a merciless first. Well, not first game on, but really second game on. So doing well, doing well. Getting another kill. One off the Warthog. It's been a killer gameplay. Drop a like for that orbital VSAT on Black Ops 2 backwards compatible. Warthog, second favorite streak of all time. I used to love it, and I play on my big screen with surround sound and just turn the sound up really loud and just hear that, just that groan of the Warthog as it flies past. Getting our load star going 14 and 2. Hope you guys are enjoying this crazy Black Ops 2 gameplay. Warthog getting a nice little double kill there. I'm going to start spawning in this, this back quadrant here. There we go. Love the Warthog. That sound. What a beast. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to try to find a spot to camp because I'm about to lap my streaks. And I want to be able to uh, call everything in, so... There we go. That's a triple kill. I'm going to call this Lodestar in. 24 and 2, boys. Not even hitting anything. This map's kind of hard for it just because of the way everything is. I do prefer the clear filter. There we go. Black Ops 2 had the best streaks. Like, we need streaks like this again in a Call of Duty. We really do. There we go. Keep hitting that stupid thing in the middle. There we go. That was a rank up as well, I think. The load star's so good, boy. Load star and the VTOL were amazing. Streaks to go down in history. Love the little red dot, like, especially when you see the red dots, like, you know you're gonna die. 32 and 2. Going off. I'm actually enjoying this. This is really fun. So I might have a couple games, maybe do two games in one video. We'll see how it goes, but definitely this game's going up. There was a guy sitting in that corner that I could have died. I wonder what... What gun streak we're on? Should be close to 15 for the gun streak. Hopefully we get the middle here. Nope. Do I have scavenger? Yeah, I do. Guy just sitting there, don't know what he was doing. Nice, boys! 36 and 2. We got another VSAT there, got the final kill cam. I hope you guys enjoyed that absolutely crazy gameplay. Watch the final kill cam, just me just slaughtering the enemy. 
Leave a like for that. We're going to hop into a second game. So I'll catch you guys in just a second. Alright guys, this is our second game playing the most iconic Nuketown 2025. We're going to go absolutely off. Changing up the weapon this game using the AN94. Quick draw reflex and stock with that s delicious diamond camo. We're going to see how this goes. Getting the first blood. Getting a nice little double kill to start it off. I think there's a guy up in this window. I might die here, yep. It's getting very hectic. This this map was also, I think, like, this is probably the best Call of Duty for, Black, for Nuketown, I think. Personally, I thought it was. Just the way the game was and just how everything felt. It was very awesome. The typical window campers just spray up there, get a double kill. I think they're spawning behind us. Migrating hosts, there we go, we made the host leave. I'll just skip this really quick so we can get back into the gameplay. Alright, back into the gameplay, the host got changed, so here we go. Getting a kill straight off, getting a bloodthirsty. Kind of got them a little bit spawn trapped here. There we go. I haven't red gun in so long and I'm doing so well. Hope you guys are enjoying this absolutely crazy gameplay. You're going to hit another streak. Going 11 and 1. Got a v orbital VSAT. This is what needs to be implemented back at the Call of Duty. Just the VSAT. Just, just these, not basic, but just really straightforward streaks. Getting, getting a warthog, getting hit by shock charges. This was the Call of Duty where just all like the tacticals, like especially the EMP lasted like forever. So if you got hit by one of those, you're pretty much out of the fight for like 4-5 seconds. Get off the corner, mate. They're all sitting up in that building there. Probably could just run up there and get a nice, nice little feed. He's got a shotgun. Could easily have died there. On oh, no, a little ruthless, was that? I need some ammo. Let's just pick up this gun. Oh, I got some ammo here. 120 in the stock, so I got my load star and getting shot in the back. I shouldn't have ran through there. 22 and 2. We'll call this load star in again. Nice double kill there. Got them spawn trapped so hard. This is the funnest thing to do, especially when like the V toll was probably better for this map. But the load star still does exceptionally well. Especially when this happens. I don't know what I'm hi ah, hitting that top of the building. There we go. There we go, boys. Absolutely annihilating the enemy for a forty and two. 40 and 2. And then we have no chance right now. If this was like, I wish like the score limit went to 100. I wish this, this was the Call of Duty they changed it in. But it wasn't until Black Ops 3 they made that 100 score limit change. Oh, the game ending saving us. Hope you enjoy that, guys. Two absolutely insane games. 41 and 2 in like a 30 plus game in the last one. I ended up getting a 20 gun streak in the last game. I think it was Relentless, I think, or whatever it is. But I hope you enjoyed that. Leave a like if you want to see more. Tell me what you think about the videos. Drop a comment in the comments. Tell me if you want to see more, especially Black Ops 2, because I love this game. Like I can I can play this all day, absolutely. Hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you never miss a video from me. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Got a ruthless that game. Yes, boys.